Ladies and gentlemen, I told you we would be back right here looking at this thing. Welcome back to Subnautica part 3 of this very interesting journey. Before we do begin though, I do wish to say that we are going away from the 100 days format and we're, we're just gonna go as a normal let play series because really that is what it is. Um, but in the last episode we found this very big tall tower which turns out to be a ginormous... Uh, spaceship firing cannon so that's interesting and we found this purple tablet and we're now going to enter this place apparently uh this is gonna be interesting i have never made it this far in the game so i don't know what is going to happen um definitely i'm gonna have this out though because i do not trust any of it yeah this place is definitely weird and it could look like stone but actually it it does look like metal as well. This is uh, both beautiful, but also very creepy. It's kind of giving me Halo vibes, which, um... You know, the f may maybe you don't know. The flood uh, kind of thing. If you played Halo, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's basically creepy. But I mean, so far, no... Other than this thing is one giant cannon. No really... Oh, ancient technologies. Find the enforcement platform. Enforcement, yeah, enforcing the superiority of the skies, apparently. Data terminal. Yeah, I'm gonna check over here first. <laughs> uh, oh, what do we have down here? I probably really should... Uh, okay, I'll, I will check that first. Yeah, so hopefully there's no sentry or something. I would put a sentry in this place. Walking, talking, maybe not talking robot. Unknown language, attempting translation. Uh-huh. Okay, let's have to new. Alien data terminal. Uh, ter 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 terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no way, clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species, species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected the sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and no communicate back. And to communicate back, I can't read apparently. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply that the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment further research required. So yeah, these aliens clearly are better than us at the technology, it would appear. We're more powerful something. Okay. Oh. Right. Pick up iron cube. I would I wouldn't throw around with it like that. Looks it it really does look like it's Yeah, okay. Right. Pathway down here. Yeah, it looks like it would be radioactive. Oh, that jump scared me. <laughs> Cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Yeah, it could be yeah. Yeah, what you said. Right. Oh, another terminal. Ooh, another iron cube. Should I really be taking these, though? If they are high energy sources, I feel like they are powering something for a good reason. Or maybe that is what powered the, um... That is maybe what powered the, the big cannon. Likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Oh, I'm taking it. <laughs> Maybe I can use it to get off this place. This place is huge. Another data terminal. Unknown la language. language. Attempting translation. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh dear me. Okay. okay, so apparently the metal that this building is constructed from is something that is ultra hard, non-reactive metal. Very interesting. <laughs> There's no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by a, uh, by available means. Wow. The schematic indicates the facility has been powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. Okay, so this is not the only structure. The location is not listed, but there is evidence that the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Okay. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where this schematic was found at the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. 
The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or install security measures. Oh dear, security measures. Yeah. I mean, I would put a lot of security measures in this, right? Also, I don't know how soon we... The probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by this? accessing the control room in the lower section. Should we even be going in here? You know, is this even wise? Is this even wise? Is my question. Vital I stabilizing. yeah, I don't. I don't have that much food. Oh well. Oh, okay. Okay, that is um. Okay, interesting. I have no control. I don't think. Okay. I hope I can come back. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Well, yep. I can definitely get back up again. <laughs> well, that is good to know that we can definitely get out of here if need be. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, I'm jumping in. So this is some sort of hangar. So when we maybe get the submarine at some point, Maybe we'll be able to go in from that place and access this facility from there. Or even just with the... I don't remember what it's called now. It's been a while. But yeah, that, that thing we have. Uh, there we go. Seamoth. That's the one. Oh, wow. This is some complex structure. If something jumps out of me all of a sudden or a mech comes through... Uh, that's a weapon, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's definitely a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's a weapon. Alien rifle. Yep. Alien rifle. A strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Of course there isn't. We'd love to have that right about now. Especially considering they might have one. Whatever, whoever is here. Um, okay. I'm definitely gonna get that. So there's a pathway there. But I'm gonna check upstairs first. Um, there might be nothing. There might be... Oh, no, nope, there's definitely something. That's a key thing, right? A tablet. Um, that looks like... Hmm? Something? A doom doomsday. Okay, not what I had in mind. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. <laughs> I I don't feel safe knowing that that has malfunctioned, because that what does that mean exactly? Right? Does it all of a sudden unmalfunction and then all of a sudden work? Right. Indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay, so I need to insert a tablet, which I of course do not have, but it is downstairs. So I could go and get that. Okay, so it took a bit of a fall there. I can't take two. Okay, wow. Come on, come on now. That's not that bad, really. That is really not that bad. Yeah, this would be a portal. <laughs> We're back in uh, in Stargate, ladies and gentlemen. Um. I would love to power this thing, though, because that would put me outside, but it doesn't look like there's any way of potentially putting a power source. Right. Okay, so I'm going to get that purple thingy. Now, since this is here, it must be... Well, it's kind of just floating, so I guess it's not powering anything. I just love to leave just a random key for me, though, not going to lie. I don't have any healing, do I? No. Okay. Be careful of jumps, because uh, apparently we can't fall that high without hurting our ankles. All right, here we go. Placing tablet again for the second time. And I would assume that a control room would be fortified. Not only fortified, but... That feels like something should be down there. Like water or something. This place is eerie. It's like too silent. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't don't like it. It's it's weird. It's odd. It's well alien. Oh, can I scan any of this? No. 
Okay. I should, wait, there's something here. Ah, energy core. Okay, so I guess the small things were not the stuff that was actually powering this this thing. Oh, can't read. That's uh, this device houses energy equivalent to a hundred uh, nuclear, which can be channeled. Uh, will target any ship within range. Okay, yeah, it is currently operating without parameter. Okay, right. So that's the thing. Can I disable it? Careful. Maybe. Oh. Oh hi. Yeah. Ow. What? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads: Warning: uh. Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Oh. I don't like that music. Why? Why is that? Oh. Music just stopped. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Well, I guess. Um, wait. Alien facility locations. Inter intercept in intercepted. There we go. Background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Depth 800 meters. Location cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of the enforcement platform. Function, live specimen study, objective, synthes synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium design, designated Kara? Thermal power facility, sanctuary A, sanctuary B, off-site laboratory, primary containment facility, in the, in a, in a, in, in, wow. in the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of the of infection off world. I mean, I guess if it's really serious, then that's good, but it said I'm infected. I don't think I've actually done a self scan yet. Self -scan oh. Complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Right. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Right, so I guess that I need to go to the disease research facility to figure out what is actually wrong with me. Okay, that does make sense. Uh, and I can't take these purple keys back. Okay, interesting. I guess there's not much else for me to do here since I can't disable the cannon. Because I'm not allowed to operate with that. So before I can disable the cannon, I'm gonna need to... Get, get get rid of this infection, apparently. We did, however, also get uh, three iron cubes, which is not too bad, I feel. So I think... I really want to know where this is. I wish there was a map. I mean, the sea moth is only over there. Yeah, I definitely want to be able to come in here with, like, the... Um, with the submarine once we put a, potentially... No, eventually get that. All right, going up. So I guess I need to just go back to the Seamoth now and go back home. Then I need to figure out where that facility is. But first, I suppose that I might need I, I need to do some base building and some crafting and whatnot, I think. Um, what was this? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's a data terminal. We already downloaded that data. Right, let's head outside, get some fresh air, because this place is, once again, very eerie and uh, scary. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it's daytime at the very least. Okay, uh, right. Actually, we're not going to leave just yet, because I seem to remember... Is it this island or is it the other island? I think it's the other island we were at, where there was a building on the top of it that I really wanted to scan. I don't think it was this one. Now, clearly, there was also a portal connecting this thing to, like, the inside of this island. Um, yeah, okay. Back in the Seamoth, let's go home. I do believe we have a radio message waiting for us. Then we'll get situated and figure out what to do next. Hey, Seamoth. Hey, pal, it's been a while. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. It's been too long. All right. I do believe, yep, that's camera one and two. So that is my home. I will meet you there. 
honestly, just like traveling like this in in like this thing this way, it's so so pretty. Like really, really pretty. Also, we're back in familiar waters at last. Only 150 meters away. There we are. Oh, don't hit that rock. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh yeah, we got those cameras. That's right. All right. And there's the base right there. I think I know what I want to do. Um, I need to get situated because it has been a while since I have been here and also played on this world. I need to figure out if I can potentially start emptying some of these. Because if I can, I would like to get rid of them. Get everything inside. And then I want to go over to that island and get to the base that is on top or structure or whatever it is. So I think that is what we're going to do. Do. I'm making a locker here called special for these iron cubes because they are indeed quite special and I'm just gonna go ahead and empty all of these if I can into the lockers my intention is to make a proper storage room very soon uh, I don't know how to actually pick this up uh, 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 there we go pick up uh, yeah I want to make a proper storage room so we don't really want these anymore really ideally and looks like I already beat myself to it. <laughs> they are all empty anyway. Okay. Wow. Okay, that, I mean, that is a job easily done. All right. Grabbing a bunch of stuff here. But before I go back down, we do have a radio message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Let's see. Nine new biological subjects uh. designated mode. Sharing subject locations with other agents. That is creepy. What on earth? Wait, so... The... If that's a transmission, either that is pre-recorded, which wouldn't make sense. Am I being hunted by... Uh, uh, am, I be, am I being hunted by aliens? Hello? Anyone? Indian hunter? Something? And I don't I don't like this. <laughs> this is creepy. Um right, I want to check something. I don't know if I can check it in here. I think I can. Ooh, vehicle upgrade console. I want that. I really, really do want that. I don't know where to place that though. Um that is titanium computer chip and copper wire. I don't know how to there we go. Uh, table coral sample, copper wire, gold. Okay. I should be able to do that. I don't know where I would be placing it. I guess I would need a hanger for that. Ideally. Uh, that's not it. Wait, what is that? Uh, I've seen that before. Aha! There we go. I think. Yep. Boom. Got it. Well, this is unfortunate. I don't actually have any copper. That's a problem. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Yep. Thanks for saying that, because otherwise I don't think I would have liked that sound. Oh, hi. Hello. Goodbye. Yep. I don't like you. I don't like you. Please go away. Yep. There we go. Oh, I can make purple tablets. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and a floating air pump. Right. Propulsion cannon, laser cutter. I need that laser cutter. Wait, do I have the laser? I don't think I have the laser cutter. I should probably get that. Anyway, time to get some food. Nom, nom, nom. Now I have the computer chip, but I still need more copper in order to, um, in order to get the vehicle upgraded console, if I really do want that, which I think I do. I just actually don't know if I can actually use it or not. <laughs> So that's a thing. All right, I'm going to make a couple of things here if I can get this thing right. I'm going to go ahead and make a fabricator. I think right here. We can always move it. Because that means since I'm moving my storage down here, that I can actually do stuff, well, down here now, which is good. I also want to build a radio if I can, which... Requires more copper, which I don't currently have because I need to use it for the vehicle upgrade console that I really want to make, which is probably a waste. Maybe? I, I don't know. 
and I will have to place it. I don't know if it automatically goes to like the the thing. Yeah, it can't can't actually be placed here. Maybe it has to be like outside. Yeah, and I can't place it here either. So yeah, I can't do that just yet. So that's fine. Uh, I need one more copper, I believe that is, for moving the radio. Honestly, I am lacking quite a few materials in general, because I will probably pretty soon be needing to make some batteries and stuff like that, which I'm pretty sure uses copper as well. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We can go on some... Uh, actually, one episode will have to go on just a mining expedition, I think. I'm going to put this in the scanner room, because it fits. Also, it's quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good, good. Um, right, I can go ahead and make some water. Prepare for the journey to that island. See, this is so much easier because here I have salt. And what else did I need? I need a uh, coral tube sample. And because we have a locker called bio over here, we can go ahead and do that. Make some bleach and then we can make a lot more water. Look at that. Eventually, I will want to also get into farming and stuff. Oh, you don't even use the water fish for this. That's interesting. Very handy. All right, that's a lot of crafting done. I can go ahead and drink some filtered water. Eat one or two of these and get a little bit more water as well. And definitely going to go ahead and take a first aid kit because uh, I'm almost at half health, actually, just from falling. <laughs> earlier uh take this and use that good okay and if i remember correctly Welcome aboard, Captain. thank you if we're facing there and we oh oh dear i think it took some damage there yeah definitely took some damage okay i really need to figure out how to hold on don't i have like some sort of Hold on a minute. Gas torpedo, vortex torpedo, in vehicle upgrades? Ooh, prawn suit torpedo arm. Yeah, we haven't unlocked the, 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 that yet. Uh, mobile vehicle bay. I don't know how I actually repair this thing. And we actually don't have the laser cutter, like I said earlier. Wow. Does this thing have, like, a slot for... Okay, yeah, I actually don't... I actually don't know how we actually upgrade this thing or repair it. <laughs> uh, if you guys know that, please do let me know down below in the comments because I will want to repair this at some point in the future. Probably near future. Oh, sorry, fish. <laughs> what on earth? What was that? I see ore deposits, so I'm going to park right over here. I'm assuming I can't swim in that directly. Oh, nope, that's burning. That's burning. Okay. Right, that's volcanic stuff. Well, we are apparently close to a volcano then. Okay, that's that's good to know. <laughs> Look at these guys right here. So, so pretty. Like, really pretty. This game is so pretty. <laughs> now, where is that island? Am I going the right way? Um, I'm not... Ah, yep, that way. I was going 90 degrees the wrong way. There we go. Course correction done. And there is the island starting to appear. Definitely going the right way now. Very nice. No, not gonna lie. Since we heard that radio transmission and also found the... The alien building but most importantly the the radio transmission this game just got a lot more creepy because like are there aliens here <laughs> it didn't sound very friendly that's all i can really say um trying to find a way where i can actually get up onto the island i didn't see where i did it last time um oh anywhere ah, i see it or something i see something Right here. Don't hit that. This, this thing is already damaged enough. <laughs> Alright. I don't think this is the way we got up to the island last time. But that right there is what I want to get to. Hopefully there's something really good to scan. Um, Wait. Keep color. It's green. 
Yep, so, oh, wait, specimen with symptoms of infection. Okay. What about you? Are you infected? No, you don't seem to be infected, but this guy is, which can then, I suppose, uh, infect others, maybe. Hmm. Isn't it this bad? I don't know if this can be used for food. This man may act to ward off predators or even encourage predation as a means of spreading the spores. Huh. Interesting. Well, I need to get up there. I'm not sure how to do that. I could, of course, just climb up here. That works. <laughs> I definitely want to make sure we don't miss something. But, I mean, getting the height advantage here is going to help a lot. Okay, maybe I can't get up this way. Or maybe I can. Yep. Never say never. Never say never, Ow. ladies and gentlemen. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ow. Right. That wasn't the way to go, clearly. Is that the... That's another building, I'm pretty sure. Isn't it? It has to be. Right. I may have to give up on this specific mountaintop. Unfortunately. I would also like to reach it before nighttime. That would be ideal. And I do think that the sun is setting. Ah, uh, this is where we were in the last episode, I think. I seem to recognize this specific path. So I assume if I just go up here. Oh yeah, there are two structures. Okay. Oh, oh, there's even more here. Okay, well, let's go up here first because I fought so hard for it. Let's get up here. We'll go down to that. Then we'll go up to that one. Let's do that. And here we are. Now, this seems very old. Not gonna lie. Very rusty. Um, Scanning the bulkhead because, yeah, you never know if we'll get something on the surface at some point. Now, is this going to be clear? <laughs> Open supply grade, abandoned PDA. New blueprint acquired. Yeah, indoor group. Yeah, this is what I wanted, or one of the things that I wanted. And the observatory. Do definitely want that as well, because that's just cool. New blueprint acquired. Definitely getting a bunch of stuff here. New blueprint acquired. And lantern tree. I'll take it. Maybe, is this something that I can eat? It says fruit, right? So, oh, my inventory is full. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, you can eat these. Maybe you can turn them into some other food as well, maybe? I don't know. But I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna take more because... Uh, there we go. I'm not gonna take more because just in case... I don't have seeds, though. I wonder if you can turn them into seed. Hmm. Anyway. Let's uh, take this. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Oh dear. My father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Wow. Okay, so it looks like he was potentially, most likely anyway, infected as well. Okay, is that light? Okay, this game is getting creepier by the minute. And look at these lantern trees. They really are pretty. Let's get down here. Let's see what we got. Hey, fellas. Chinese potato. I love potatoes. I'm definitely going to be accidentally eating one of these. That's a fruit. What on? No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. They are hostile. Got it. I don't know what I can scan. Uh, 
Oh, marble melon. I don't know how I get the seeds from the tree, though. Uh, what, what was that? Potato. I assume that I use that too. I'm gonna eat that because... I feel like I need to turn these maybe into seeds. I'm not sure. I was that warning. Emergency power. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emergency power only. Okay, let's see what this is then. Um, ooh, wait, stasis rifle fragment? Hello? Yes, please, that would be good. Um, wall planter. Oh, that's cool. Um, what's this? Multi Multi-purpose room. That is the thing that I've been wanting. Yes. I've been wanting this thing for so long since we started this actually multi-purpose room because this I can put into like um acquired. Huh? yeah I can like uh, new blueprints of surprise large room <gasps> hold everything hold hold everything where's this where's this I need to see it I need to see it right this instant well ah, okay ow stop huh? that I want to see this <laughs> I'm so excited. Large room glass dome. Hello. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. There we go. Plasteel ingot. Oh dear. Right. We'll have to figure out how we get plasteel. I don't know if we already know that. How to get that? Do we know how to do that, ladies and gentlemen? Do we know how to... How to know that? Plasteel. There we go. Titanium ingot and lithium. Okay, that sounds expensive. <laughs> Alright, that is really cool though. We have a lot- I can't get in. I- I'm sorry. You're- you're going for me. That's not fun. Get me in! Get- Get- I was just it. There we go. Okay. Oh, please don't get in here. I can't move. That- this is weird. Okay. Got this. Don't hurt me. Integrating new PDA data. Be gone. Be gone, please. Be gone. Be gone. Okay. What was that? Oh dear. Oh, come on! No. You're going down. You're going down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, I guess it's part of the wall now. Uh, where do I have that PDA stuff? Uh. Or, uh, there we go. Storm. Go. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Oh dear. So, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Okay, and there's another one right here. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Maida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, 
She'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. I mean, this place does look like it's been here for a quite a while, so maybe we're not the first ones to arrive. Hmm. What do we have? Oh, battery. That's actually handy. All right, let's clap. Oh. That's interesting. I feel like that should be an animation. Um. Okay. Why has it taken me up to the roof? I feel like there would be a reason for that, but I guess that is it from this place. Okay, I guess that is next. And also, I just realized that we were actually listening to these um, in the wrong order. This was the first one, then the storm, and then the return from the deep. So, yeah, oopsie. That's probably why things weren't making sense directly specific. That's a purple tablet. No, 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 no. That's a purple tablet. How, how do I get in there? <laughs> No, no, mm -mm. nope. How? How? They they have a tur they had a purple tablet. I can't get in. Wait, I can maybe I can get the desk, but I can't get that PDA data. Uh huh. Okay. What about on the other side? I don't think I can demolish this stuff. Maybe the window does? Oh, the window's broken. Ooh, okay. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. So maybe we were supposed to find the purple tablet first? Because I now have an extra purple tablet. That's interesting. Right, let's listen to that. So this is the one that comes after Return from the Deep, when apparently the guy comes back and his... It... Yeah, okay. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. Nope. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters, for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. That is true. Now what could I... Ah, exterior grow bed. Interesting. Alright, this island is pretty though. I'm slowly getting up there. Hopefully there's some good stuff. And hopefully I don't fall. <laughs> that would also be very good. Um... That right there looks like the cloud is moving. Are there other islands in this game? Because I feel like the cloud right there looks like something is hidden. Something is hidden over there, maybe. Over there, that's the other island that we were at. Oh. Okay, when maybe not with the sea moth, but with something else, we may have to investigate that. Um, spotlight. That would be nice. Very nice, actually. Okay. Opposite plant pot. Swivel chair! Yay! Let's get it. Nice. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Abandon PDA. Integrating new PDA. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. Well, it's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Maida, 
But I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay, I think that that was everything from these islands. Let me know if you know that I've missed something. But I think that I got everything. We've been to both buildings. There was that and... Yeah. It, I mean, the island is over there. Know that much. I just don't know if there's anything else in the horizon. Or if it's just how the, how the game looks. Anyway, I think that this mission has been a... Oh, I think, okay. I think this mission has been a pretty good success, so I'm gonna get back in the Seamoth. And ow. Oh, looks like. Oh, this place was destroyed by like. Some rocks falling down. That's not good. Would you stop being such a chicken? Come on, it's not that difficult <laughs> to land on your feet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get back to the Seamoth, get back to base. Get myself situated, and then I need to figure out what to do next. Oh, that's decompensating. I don't know how to actually, like, make seeds into this. Or make them into seeds. I'm going to need to do quite a bit of research. Um, and preparation for the next episode. Because I think in the next episode I want to do a bunch of base building. I think I want to do a bunch of base building because we need space. We need space for farms. We need a bioreactor. I want farms. I want... A bioreactor so the farms can feed the bioreactor. I'm hoping. I want more space. I want better storage because we can make better storage and stuff. So I need to plan for that. Uh, if you have suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you know how to actually repair this thing, let me know as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I guess we need to... I think there's a thing we can make where we can take a vehicle inside the underwater base and then there we will be able to like upgrade vehicles and repair them and stuff. I guess that's what we need to get. So I think next episode definitely base building for sure. And home sweet home and the music is fitting. A little bit creepy but fitting. Yeah imagine if we get like a big oh <laughs> imagine I, I, I just want to see here. Hold on, I just want to see. Say we got a large room. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now now we're talking. Now we're definitely talking. I don't know where the entrance is. I guess that would be there. Wow. Yeah, I don't I don't I need to I need to like think of how to actually design this stuff. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Do we have another radio? Nope, we do not. Yeah, I'm gonna call this an episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Again, leave me feedback if you have any ideas for the the base, maybe in what order to place things, something like that. That's an island. That's an island. Oh yeah, we've been on both. Okay, I'm seeing things now. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.